Yo, you right? This is going to be Premier League predictions for this weekend. I know that Man United are playing Crystal Palace tonight. And I assume Man United to win. Tomorrow Man City got Spurs. Again, expect City to win. But these are from the weekend coming up. For the weekend coming up. Um, let's start at Saturday lunchtime, shall we? At Anfield. Um, two teams... I've uh, been pretty off form recently, and um, yeah, I don't expect it to be the most entertaining. But um, one one, I expect I expect it to be one one. But I think two teams who a lack of confidence, lack of form. Yeah, that would be my prediction for the first game. Second game, AFC Bournemouth against Nottingham Forest. Um, well, AFC Bournemouth started the season well. When they had the new manager in charge, everything seemed to be doing good for him. But um, heading towards the World Cup, there's a bit of a slide. And since the World Cup, it's basically been straight down now. Nottingham Forest will want a statement win and show... But they're good enough to stay in the Premier League and they're hungry enough to stay in the Premier League. AFC Bournemouth nil, Nottingham Forest 2 is my prediction. Leicester City against Brighton. Well, after Brighton's statement win, one of a few this season, against Liverpool last weekend, I expect Brighton want to add to it by going to Leicester and, um, and scoring three more. Anything will be a bit tougher. We can't completely dis Leicester, disrespect them. Um, but I think Brighton will score three goals still and win 3 1. Southampton against Aston Villa. Well, Southampton got a massive win against Everton last weekend, didn't they? And so I think. Um, I think Villa actually will. I think Southampton will make a game of it, but I think Villa will just have too much for Southampton. I had to admit. This might be a crazy prediction, but Southampton nil, Aston Villa 2. Next one West Ham United against Everton. Everton will, will want to win this because they know they'd lose. They are getting so close to the relegation. West Ham will win a, a statement win, like a 3-0 or something, just to show that they are turning a corner and they are determined under Moyes to stay in the Premiership. But I only see it being 2-1 West Ham. But I do see a West Ham vic victory. Next game i got is um, Crystal Palace against Newcastle. Selhurst Park is never an easy place to go. Newcastle want to make statement victories to attract more players before they enter the window. I can't see Newcastle signing more, maybe a couple, and then in the summer, splash the cash big time. I think Newcastle will very well win this. Um, 2 0 Newcastle. The next game is Leeds United against Brentford. Le Brentford at home have been good. Leeds, I'm, I know for, I'm pretty sure that Leeds fans are concerned how close they are getting towards the relegation zone. And they will so want to win this game. It would be so big for them. I just have a feeling... Ivan Tony and Co. just can't can't lose the appetite of scoring goals, and no striker should or would want to. Leeds United one, Brentford two. Man City against Wolves after Man City's defeat um, to Man United in Manchester derby. And the elimination of the League Cup to Southampton. 
think Man City will make a statement that if Pep's given up on the title race, the players definitely haven't. They've still got their own ambitions and appetite. And Arsenal will want to beat United um, because obviously they know about the Man City result before they play, but City win or lose, Arsenal will want to win. And if City lose, Arsenal it's so badly want to win. City win, Arsenal so badly want to win. So, yeah. Um, but if Arsenal and City lose, it's 11 points. If City win, Arsenal lose, it's, eight, it's 5 points. So if both teams win, it's still Arsenal 8 points clear. And I think Arsenal, I think both teams will win. I think Man City won 3 0 against Wolves. I think Arsenal beat Man United 2 um, 1. Despite United's absolute best form in a few years, I've, I've got to say. Next game Fulham against Spurs at Queen Cottage. If Spurs lose, is Conte getting sacked? I really can't see it. So, so soon. Mitrovic to score. Kane to equalise. Is that what we're predicting? 1-1 one, one at Craven Cottage. Craven Cottage has been such a hard place to go to this season. I didn't think, didn't, I don't think anyone expected it at the start of the season. Like, Craven Cottage should be such a hard place to go. Anyway, that's my Premier League predictions. But there's been land-breaking, um... Developments from the Welsh FA that the men's and women's team, teams and players, well, I guess the players, are getting equal pay, which to me is fantastic. I think it should, I think this should already be a thing for British nations and European nations and everywhere, to be fair. Years ago, to be honest. Um, if all these owners um, in UK and so on have got so much money, then why is there such a gulf in difference in pay when men and women, boys and girls, equally have the same appetite to to be the best they can be at football? Same in any sport, to be honest. And um, we saw what the Lionesses did at the Euros um, last summer and... They'll go for the World, Women's World Cup this year in Australia, New Zealand, with the same belief and appetite. And girls go, watching them up and down the country would just want to do the same. And, you know, getting equal pay would mean a lot. And it should mean a lot for, for men's football as well. Women's football have got to the same level when it comes to equal pay. Um, also... The next thing I've got to say is, simple as this, as we're in an economic crisis, as bad as it is, but any situation, like, yeah, whatever, an economic crisis, an economic crisis, a recession, basically, I think we should look at countries like Germany when it comes to the prices fans have to pay to go to games. It's ridiculous. Like, 20 is plenty. Bayern Munich fans come to England in the Champions League with these banners and probably other German uh, clubs. And to be honest, um, it is so right. 20 is plenty. Why do you have to pay 70 quid to get to London for a Champions League match? And um, why do these owners got so much money? Why do they need to, like, yeah, exploit fans by making them have to pay way more than you need to? It's ridiculous. And look, boys and girls up and down the ground want to watch a Premier League game and they can't afford to because they can't afford the tickets. It's just ludicrous. It's crazy. So, yeah. It's just... It's poor. It's really poor. And if the FA gained some, you know, and actually got in there and said, look, this is going to happen straight right across the Premier League, and so on. It'd be great, and not just for the Premier League, for the champion, for Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League, whatever. Yeah. 
Tschüss und am Anfangsball.